Each of the three block P, Q, R shown in the figure has the mass three kilogram. Each block has the same mass, and mass is given to us that is three kilogram. Each of the wire A and B has the cross section area. This cross section area is given by zero point zero zero five centimeter square converted to meter square. That is ten to the power minus four meter square. Young's modulus is given by two into ten to the power eleven newton per meter square. Neglecting the friction, the longitudinal strain on wire B, we have to calculate the longitudinal strain on wire B that we have to calculate. Okay, so Young's modulus is known to us. Strain we have to calculate. We all know very well. Young's modulus is given by stress upon strain. So strain is written as stress upon Young's modulus. What is the stress on wire B? If I say here the tension is T1. And here the tension is T two, then we can say stress developed is given by tension upon area. Okay, now T two we will calculate. Here the weight is acting mg in the downward direction. Mass is three kilogram, gravity is ten, so mg is given by thirty. So what is the equation? Thirty minus T two equal to mass into acceleration that is three into a. What is acceleration? Net driving force that is thirty. Total mass m plus m plus m three m three m is three into three nine. So we will say it is 10 by 3. Put this value here. We will get 30 minus T2 equal to 3 into 10 by 3. That is 10. So T2 is given by 30 minus 10. That is 20 newton. So here we will apply T2 is 20 newton. Young's modulus is 0.005 into 10 to the power minus 4. So it is 10 to the power plus 4 in the upper side. And Young's modulus is 2 into 10 to the power 11. Further we will solve. 2 will cancel out. What we are getting 10 to the power 5 upon 10 to the power 11 into 5. Then here 1, 2, 3, 10 to the power 3. So ultimately it is 10 to the power 8 upon 10 to the power 11 into 5. Now we have to write the answer in 10 to the power minus 4. So what we are writing here? Here we are getting 10 to the power 11. So 10 to the power minus 3 upon 5. So right now we are getting the answer. That is 10 to the power minus 3 upon 5. But we have to write the 10 to the power minus 4. It means we can do multiply and divided by 10. This is 10 to the power minus 4. Then 10 divided by 5 is 2. So here it will come 2. So right answer of this problem is 2.